And the fifth generation air warfare has a massive impact on air-to-air -air combat. If tactical surprise is important in air-to-ground, it is fundamental in air-to-air. Being in the position of firing without being detected is the single most important factor determining the outcome of air-to-air -air combat. We are used to think to the classic dogfight because it is fascinating in itself, but ending up in such a situation is actually a loss for the attacker. The attacker wants to approach the target unseen, fire and go away. In this context, laying the identification is a very important advantage. In an environment rich of weapons with BVR capabilities, firing first is a decisive advantage and it often results in a kill. Firing first gives the option to optimize the weapon kinematics, improving the kill probability. Ideally, you may want that the aircraft is in a position to fire from within the weapon's nest while still being undetectable. However, it is to be noticed that the weapon launch in itself may give away the stealth aircraft position since, well, the weapon may not be stealth and the launch may generate a large infrared plume. Moreover, the necessity of not generating visible contrails may impose some limitations to the usable flight levels, albeit these are usually not that relevant. The multi-ship sensor fusion via discrete data link communication is also very useful in air-to-air -air engagements. In fact, command and control are much simplified since every member of the flight has full knowledge of the tactical situation as depicted by all the sensors available in the area and connected to the data link network. Complex orders may be communicated via discrete data link without requiring voice explanations. In the first flag level exercises where the F-22 and the F-35 were involved, they demonstrated these capabilities. Some ridiculous numbers appeared in the press like 70 to 1 in terms of kill ratios in favor of the fifth gen aircraft. While well, they, yeah, they are what they are. Now with everyone aware of the tactics and the performance of these aircraft, the advantage has reduced, but still the fifth generation, everything else equal, is much more effective than the previous generations. For example, against a first generation aircraft, the fifth gen doesn't need to defend itself in the same way as they used to because even when fired upon, stealth protects from radar guided missiles as well. It may not even be necessary to go defensive after firing since the opponent can't see or track the shooter. And this is a big advantage in air combat. I have to say though that I did not hear anything about what happens when the opponent is fifth generation as well. Some F-35s of the earlier blocks that couldn't be updated are now used as aggressors. And the scenario that has opened when we have fifth gen against fifth gen, well, is definitely, definitely intriguing to say the least, but very little information is available. So I'm sorry, but I think we will have to leave this for another time.